What is Pagas? I'm reading The Four Feathers by A.E.W.Mason. It contains a reference to a beverage consumed by one of the characters. It would have been strange, after all, he thought, if he had not been able to hoodwink poor old Durance, and he returned to the smoking room and refreshed himself with a whiskey and potass. This drink also features in other books, here, for instance. Searching for potass turned up no matches, but references to potash and potassium, neither of which, I would have thought, would be desirable ingredients in a cocktail. So, what is potass? The spelling of whiskey sent me looking toward Britain. From the Esclepiad Advertiser, 1891, comes this advert from a firm of beverage bottlers in Croydon. I suppose one could mix it with whiskey. It seems to be a brutal thing to do to good whiskey, though. It's said that a certain Kentucky gentleman was asked why he always closed his eyes when drinking a mint julep. Sir, he replied, the sight of good liquor makes my mouth water, and I don't intend for my drink to be diluted. As indicated by at Robster, potass slash potass water slash Cali potass was an sparkling acid beverage composed of water and nitrate salts, supposed to have medicinal virtues. Source, the New London Dispensatory, containing a treaty of the Pharmacopoeia by Thomas Cox, 1824. The Oxford English Dictionary has potass from potash an alkaline substance obtained originally by lixiviating or leaching the ashes of terrestrial vegetables and evaporating the solution in large iron pans or pots, whence the name. Chemically, this is a crude form of potassium carbonate, more or less mixed with sulfate, chloride, and emperomatic substances, but was long thought to be, when freed from impurities, a simple substance, and further defines it as. Used also to include the impure carbonate of soda, barilla. Obscure, barilla is defined as. An impure alkali produced by burning the dried, maritime plant Barilla, Salsola soda, which grows extensively in Spain, Sicily, and the Canary Islands and allied species. Formerly imported in large quantities, and used in the manufacture of soda. Emphasis mine. So it's basically an old-time crude form of soda. So he's having a, probably by modern standards, quite disgusting and strong, whiskey and soda. The point the author might be making is it's not a lady's drink, but something a real man would drink to refresh himself perhaps with some intended irony. I believe, due to an affection for British Victorian era fiction, that this is a period allusion to mixing a drink by using an old-fashioned soda siphon, not the current style of seltzer bottle that is recharged using pressurized cylinders of carbon dioxide. Potassium bicarbonate potass, and an acetic agent combined with water in the wire-reinforced carboy, or bottle and provided the fizz. The chap had a whiskey and soda, in other words. Cheers! At a time when taking one's liquor at room temperature was normal, putting a bit of fizz, and probably, a slight tang in the water, from the acetic agent used to generate the bubbles of gas, in one's liquor was the sophisticated way to have a mixed drink.